Back now to campaign 2016. All this week, we're giving you a closer look at the big local and statewide races on the ballot. Now, the heated fight for the U.S. congressional seat held by Carlos Curbelo and once held by challenger Joe Garcia. Congressman Carlos Curbelo is seeking a second term in Washington from a district that's changed since he was first elected. This community deserves a member of Congress who's willing to fight for this community every single day. Congressional District 26 includes parts of West Miami-Dade, Homestead, Everglades National Park, and all of Monroe County. It was redistricted by the legislature and federal courts in 2015. It's now about 36% registered Democrat, 32% Republican, and 31% no party affiliation. Enter former Congressman Joe Garcia, who believes the edge in Democratic voters will benefit him. I'm very proud of a history of representing people at the local level, at the state level, and at the federal level. Garcia represented the district for two years before losing to Curbelo two years ago. The race is a nasty one with charges of corruption and bowing to special interests. Garcia embarrasses us repeatedly with scandal after scandal after scandal. Two-faced lobbyist Carlos Curbelo lying to Florida and risking our retirement. A key difference between the two, the Affordable Care Act. Garcia supports it. Curbelo wants it repealed. Curbelo is more conservative than Garcia on abortion and gun control. Debating at their alma mater, Belen Jesuit Prep, they strongly differed on lifting the Cuban embargo. I followed this president's policy. I've been in favor of this president's policy. It makes sense. Look, we had a policy in place for half a century, and it failed. Well, I do not support any additional unilateral sanctions relief for the Cuban government. Why? Because they're still an enemy of the United States. Curbelo has accused his opponent of committing absentee voter fraud and of putting up a straw candidate in a previous election. Now, this is the greatest disrespect to voters, cheating in an election. And this has just been horrible for our community. Look, the fact it's a lie, right? And the, the truth is he's going to repeat this over and over because his voting record is atrocious. In the presidential race, Garcia is a staunch Clinton supporter. Curbelo is supporting no one. These are the number one and the number two most unpopular candidates in the history of our country. So in this election, I've decided not to support either of these candidates. And not only am I supporting Hillary Rodham Clinton, anybody who is not supporting her is supporting the alternative, which uh, I, I obviously don't think is the right choice for America. On the issue of Obamacare, a spokesman for Curbelo told me he is in favor of repeal if it can be replaced. If not, he favors reforming the law to make it better.